Hey BCOM, well this is a super quick intro video for week three of BCOM 3310. I wanted to set up what we're doing this week for you and then show you your assignment that you're going to be starting. Well, one of the things, and I've been in a lot of meetings lately, but one of the things I've heard from basically every single dean in JSOM is that students need to improve their ability to write about data, talk about data, present about data, and of course have a baseline for Excel skills. So what we're going to be doing in our program going forward is we're going to start incorporating some Excel assignments. Well, the trick there is, I know that some students come into JSOM and they are Excel expert certified. Some high schools even have students do that. And then I know we also have students who come into JSOM and they have really basic Excel skills. It's never a big thing for your field or your high school or your um, community college, any of that. So what you're going to be doing for this week is picking your own uh, course on Excel. I have three that are listed in e-learning of different uh, sort of levels. <laughs> the first one is one that I'm going to guess most people will be interested in taking. It is a, not like short, but it's not as long. It goes through all of the major things, but it doesn't go through everything in detail. The second one is actually eight hours long. Uh, again, this is not required to do this, but if you look at that first Excel course and you're like, I don't get it. <laughs> Go take the eight hour one. It goes into everything in a lot more detail and a slightly slower pace. The last one you'll see on there, and please don't panic, it is 24 hours long. And that's, that, that's way more Excel than I know I need in my life. But there are some of you, like you're going into financial accounting, you need that much Excel in your life. The 24 hour setup is going to help you prep for the Excel or the Office Expert Certification course. Uh, which is something you pay for to take through Microsoft and then can put on your resume. These LinkedIn certificates are amazing for boosting your LinkedIn profile, but they're not certificates that go onto your you know, printed out resume like a certificate through Microsoft would be. So if you know that's you, you know, you go ahead for it. I would encourage you if you have time. I know some of you are taking 15 hours and working, so you don't have time for anything like that, and that's okay too. The second Excel course that's listed there, I do want you to complete, it's only an hour, and then include that certificate into your portfolio. Uh, that course is on tracking data. He does a great job overviewing how to set up a spreadsheet to track something. Uh, talks a little bit about XLOOKUP and VLOOKUP. Really simple and straightforward to follow course in my opinion. And again, I think it's something anybody can take out of here and use if you're setting up any kind of tracking document like for an event or right now I'm working on course um, assignments for fall for faculty. That's a really great way to start to organize it. So let me show you the assignment that's going to be for the next two weeks. Uh, so right here, this is a data tracking and presentation slide assignment. Next week, we're going to talk about presentation slides and design. Um, four big goals, communicating about data, improving Excel, talking about numbers with words, so how do we communicate about data, and then uh, think about sort of critically your professional development, academic habits, and personal wellness. So what it's going to ask you to do is pick something to track. Uh, so whether that's study time, workout time, or macros for food. In the spring semester, I actually had some of my students do this. So if you um, took my 3100 class in spring, you did like the little first part of this assignment where you pick something, but this is going to take you um, much deeper. This is our 3310 level version of it. Uh, so there is asking you to create a spreadsheet first, and then you're going to report on that data in a PowerPoint or slimmer, similar slideshow that you're going to share with the class. So whatever you pick, please be sure that you're picking something that you're welcome or open to sharing with the class. So you might want, want to uh, share your you know, portfolio if you're doing investing with the class, uh, but then pick something, maybe you take that portfolio, but the way you communicate it to the class because of the audience is to strip it of your personal information and maybe just talk about overall movement. So this goes through the two courses. It gives you lots of ideas on things that you could track. It gives you also a link to some samples of how other people did that. Um, and then what I want you to do is to make a recommendation about the data, and that is for next week. For this week, because those Excel courses are gonna take you a little while, um, all I want you to do is focus on taking the Excel courses, picking a topic, 
and then start a spreadsheet so that you can start to track it. That way next week when you go to start to make a presentation and make recommendations, you have data to analyze. You're also welcome to pick something that you have data stored on already. So uh, say on my phone and I have exercise minutes stored already from tracking that, or I have some health stuff I've tracked. Uh, or I could look at the app usage, oh my gosh, which is so bad the past few weeks. I bet any of that would work. I could look at how much I'm on Microsoft Teams for work. Uh, so all of that would be things where I already have data that I could then start plugging into the spreadsheet. The assignment for next week will be the slides, so don't start working on that yet. Just get to the Take the Excel courses, set up a spreadsheet, and start tracking your data. Uh, I'm really excited to see what you do with this. I think that communicating about data is such a critical skill that needs to be part of a BCom program in a really big way. It's what we're moving to here in JSOM, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you do with this assignment. Have a great week.